Our research suggests that about 16,000 people every year are diagnosed with a new brain tumour. And we know that people affected really want to find new treatments that are going to deal with those tumours and improve conditions for patients. So we're funding research to make sure that happens soon. The problem with brain tumours is that they've been largely neglected for many years and by working here at the University of Wolverhampton we're looking to speed up that process. The first part of our research is concerned with trying to identify those genes that have gone wrong in the tumour, that have become abnormal. And as you know, in the human genome there's around 30,000 genes and it is a matter of sifting those genes to determine the rather small number, perhaps only 10 or 20 genes, which go wrong in particular subsets of brain tumour. Well, once you've identified that small subset of genes which have gone wrong, one would look to see exactly how those, what mechanism had happened in those genes for them to go wrong. And that provides you a rather unique target for tumour cells because what you want to do is develop new medicines which only kill tumour cells and spare the normal cells which surround them. And undertaking this genetic analysis and the characterization of those abnormal genes provides you with a methodology to do that. Well, once you have characterized those genes, this gives you lots of clues about how you would chemically design new drugs to treat brain tumors. And once you've done that, with our colleagues in the, in the School of Pharmacy here, we need to test those in in vitro conditions, that is using cells grown from human brain tumors which are characteristic of the tumors from which they've been derived. And we're very lucky here to have a perhaps a unique resource at a worldwide level of over 5,000 short-term cultures from a whole range of different brain tumors. And we're using those to test new drugs which will be of clinical benefit to patients. And that's something probably that we are really in a unique position to do here at the University of Wolverhampton because of this resource which we've been collecting over a large number of years. The University of Wolverhampton offers them some unique benefits for us. First of all, it's got one of the best teams in the country doing research. Secondly, we've been able to combine it with another top team from the UK, so we've now got two teams working together which will speed up results. And thirdly, it's part of Brain Tumor Northwest, which is a big network of consultants, scientists and other experts who between them are able to share information and speed up research to get results for patients and our fundraisers more quickly, because at the end of the day, results is what we're looking for. The great news is that anybody can get involved in fundraising for our work here at the University of Wolverhampton. Brain Tumor UK has a wide range of fundraising activities and a fundraising support team that can work with anybody who wants to raise money to make sure that we can get the maximum amount of research funding in and most importantly that we spend it wisely to get the best results as fast as possible.